Okay, Olive Garden has a spicy sausage soup that everybody loves called Zupa Tuscany. And when I did the, um, what was it? The It was the Olive Garden, Olive Garden app on Jack on the Go. A lot of people requested a rip-off recipe. They know I've, d I've done pasta fagioli. It's on my show. Look it up on the Cooking with Jack show. But people asked me for this one, Zupa Tuscany. They really like it. By the way, this is a really good soup. It's also a favorite of mine, uh, next to the pasta fagioli, which I like more than this one. But this one's my next pick. You guys ready? Got some heavy cream, got some flour, got some potatoes, got some kale, bacon, spicy sausage, onion, garlic cloves, red pepper flakes, Pepper, salt, and I think it's chicken stock. Yep, chicken stock. You guys ready? Let's do this. What's the first thing we gotta do? We obviously gotta put a little bit of oil on the bottom. Go ahead and heat that oil up. All right, guys, so you know how I test the oil with a little piece of meat right there. When it starts sizzling, I'll put the rest of the meat in. Okay, that's a good sign. When that little piece of meat starts bubbling, we know we're on it. Let's go ahead and put our meat in. We're just doing sausage first. All right, this meat's about done, so we're gonna start taking out. We're gonna take out the meat. Put it off to the side, let it cool off. All right, there's a little bit of meat in there still. I ain't gonna get every little bit, but just leave it in there and let's do the same thing with the bacon. Get the bacon all cooked up. As you can see, bacon's cooking along nicely. And just be patient and get it, not really crispy, but just get it all cooked. As you can see, most of the bacon's cooked down. So you're gonna wind up taking the, the bacon out. Put it off to the side just like you did with the sausage. We're gonna be adding that in soon. As you can see, you're not gonna get all the bits out, just leave them for the soup, because we're gonna put everything back in here in a minute. So as you can see, there's a little bit of grease left. I got, I poured off most of it. So go ahead and cook your onions now. And as you can see, the onions absorb up most of the, any grease that was left in the pan, the onions are grabbing onto. The onions are coming along nicely. So let's go ahead and add the garlic now so we can get that sauteed. Stir that up. Now, this recipe asks for salt and pepper at the end for seasoning, but I'm a heavy seasoner, so I'm going to put in a little bit of salt and pepper now, a little salt, a little pepper, get that all mixed in. Uh, what the hey, let's put in a little bit of red pepper flakes. Just a dash, because we're going to put more in later. Yeah, it's going to be nice and spicy. The sausage is spicy. The dish has red pepper flakes in it. Onions and garlic and pepper. The soup is going to pop. Okay, the onions and the garlic 
look about done. So we're going to take our flour. We're going to coat all over. That's our thickening agent. Go ahead and mix that in. See, look how it just absorbs a little bit of grease that was in there. Just sucks it right up. Alright, here comes the tricky part. We're going to pour and stir, and I'm all by myself, so I don't have any help. Just want to pour a little bit and stir a little bit. This is the chicken stock. So I'm pouring some in. Stop. I'm going to stir. Looks a little mushy. Pour in some more. Stop. And stir. We're trying, the reason why we're doing it like this is so that that flour doesn't get clumpy. We don't want it to clump up. We want it to stay creamy mm -hmm. like that. Okay, a little more. And stir in. You can see it's getting some body. Go ahead and pour in the rest. Go ahead and stir it. Ah, oh, smells amazing, guys. All right, these potatoes are got to go in now. So gently put those in. Don't want to splash. Here's the deal. Okay, you're going to cook these until fork tender. That's it. So you're going to bring that to a little bit of a boil and cook to these potatoes or fork tender. I got my little lid here. Pop that on. You guys can smell what I'm smelling right now. Okay, so you're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, lower your flame so the boil's gentle. Not simmering, but just a gentle boil, okay? So I'm lowering my flame now because I don't want to lose control. There we go. It's about a low medium. Okay, at the boil, let's see if they're fork tender. Yeah, they're very fork tender. It's been about 15 minutes. So let's add the rest back in. We're going to add in our meat. That's the sausage. Oop, there's the bacon. Push that in. Pouring in our cream next. Gonna need this spoon, the flat little spatula thing I've been using, ain't cutting it. I need to really get under, so I'm getting something a little bit stronger. I'm using my Rachel Ray utensil. There we go. All right, gonna grab a couple handfuls of kale. Get that pushed in. I wish I could get more kale, but this pot ain't gonna hold it. Look at that, it's gonna be amazing. Best way to wilt your kales, put the lid on, give it a minute. 
Okay, I'm probably the most laziest. Is that the word? Most laziest? I'm the most laziest inpatient cook there is. So I'm going to help this kale along. But it's getting steamed right now. So you can see it changing colors. Kind of like when you blanch vegetables. So let's push some of that down a little bit. Get that kale pushed in there. Get that kale pushed in there. There we go. Alright, while it's cooking and wilting that kale, let's do our salt and pepper. A little pepper. Maybe a little more pepper. There we go. A little salt. There we go. Let's go with them red pepper flakes. Where are you? Now we can spice it up. There we go. Don't want to make it too hot because Tammy will not want to eat it. I got to get a shot of that. Okay, guys. Look at that. Look at that broth. It's almost like uh, it's a super kind of a creamy. Got potatoes and sausage and bacon. And kale. I don't even like kale, but I like it in this soup. You guys ready to try this out? Let's do it. This is going to burn my mouth. Well, while this is cooling, before I bite it, I just want to let you know, don't forget, we got uh, our merch store. Uh, you can click the link down below. We got our sauces all on sale. There's a ton of stuff to do after this video. So go to the merch store. Go to the Amazon store that I have over there. It's got barbecue items, whatever you want. You ready? Mmm. Okay. At first, I started with the regular mmm, and then they bit into it, and it went to a higher mmm. This is amazing. More red pepper flakes. I didn't put enough. I got to make it hotter. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is really good. This is a good rip-off recipe, guys. Sometimes we hit or miss with them. This is a home run. This is definitely a home run recipe. I'm totally eating this whole bowl. I was only going to take one bite, and then we had to go go run. But I'm eating the whole thing. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.